Kyle Turner for NECFrontRow.com here to bring you the latest edition of the NEC9. The top nine plays from the past week in Northeast Conference hoops action. We start things off at number nine. St. Francis Brooklyn's Esther Varga brings the hustle following her own miss for the and one opportunity. The miss and gets the bucket and one for Esther Varga. Number eight. LIU's Christina Bermejo beats the shot clock with this rainbow three from way downtown against Wagner. Near suffocation there for LIU. Long distance triple, gets it to go! Bermejo, what a job in traffic! Number seven, Wagner's Drea Hayward deflects the pass for a steal, then rockets up the court for the conventional three-point play. Game high lead early on about six minutes ago. That one was tipped, here comes Hayward the other way, off the glass, she gets the bucket plus one. Number six, Stonehill's Emily Vermanti brings some razzle dazzle, beating her defender with the behind the back dribble on her way to the layup. Vermanti, oh beautiful move by Emily and she scores. Wow, around the back dribble, I like that. Coming in at number five, with St. Francis U in a tight game against Wagner, NEC co-player of the week Josh Cohen banks in this high degree of difficulty runner to beat the shot clock. Corner. Back at it comes McCabe, thinking about it with three. They've got to hurry Do they realize that Cohen plays beat the clock and hits. Number four, some incredible ball movement here by Sacred Heart, starting with the Nicera Pryor pass while on the floor, ending with an Amelia Wood three-pointer. Teardrop by Pryor, no good. The rebound finds her on the floor. Kick out Tucker. Johnson, one more pass. And Amelia Wood knocks down the three. Number three. Perhaps to commemorate the launch of NEC and Merrimack men's volleyball, Jordan Miner served as the setter for Michael Daring, who drains the three. Reed dribbling up top. Now Bennett. Reed lobbing one in for Miner, who just swatted it back out to the three-point line. How about that assist for Jordan Miner? Nothing he could do about that. In fact, Anthony Latina looked over at his coaching staff and starts laughing. Coming in at number two. After forcing the turnover, Wagner's Drea Hayward hits Marissa Sanchez-Henry with a home run pass, and Sanchez-Henry finishes with style on the one-handed reverse. And now they do it on the second try. Looking for Sanchez-Henry. There was Hayward, what a job. And now for our top play of the week. It's a sequence of dunks as FDU's Dimitri Roberts hits Joel Emanuel with this bounce pass dime off the back cut for the slam. Then St. Francis Brooklyn's Rob Higgins spots Michael Myrie in transition for the poster dunk. Nice feed from Roberts it to be. Emmanuel. Knights have done a very good job so far using the back cut, whoa! Mike Myrie with the answer. Well, folks, there you have it. Those are your top nine plays from the past week of Northeast Conference Hoops Action. Fans, don't forget, if you see a great play, let us know on Twitter at NEC Sports or by using the hashtag NEC9. For NECFrontRow.com, I'm Kyle Turner. Until next time.